Valladolid, Mexico, very calming, relaxing, tranquil, colonial town, and we are about to sketch uh, this cathedral here, which was built in 1545, demolished in 1705, and rebuilt in 1706. So why I chose this scene specifically, because sometimes it can be difficult to capture our entire scene on the one page. For example, this cathedral has two towers that are very tall. So I'm going to show you how by specifically by showing you a three-point perspective. So what that does is that'll kind of it, it sh like kind of shrinks your in a kind of warped way, it shrinks your perspective so that it fits your whole sketch on your page. We're ready to sketch. As you know before we get started I'd like to take a little bit of an internal review about how we got here. It's important that uh, we release all the tension, subconscious tension of arriving to a place, and also to acknowledge and honor all the beauties and the uh, experiences that you've had to arriving to the place. So, close my eyes when I think about beautiful morning, a slow morning, and now I'm here. I'm really thankful to be here. So today we are going to be sketching um, this cathedral and it has these two towers quite tall. And sometimes that can be uh, difficult to fit in our scene. So a method of doing that by applying this warped three-point perspective. So we can begin like so. First we find our horizon line. The horizon line is our eye level, remember? So because it is tall, it's gonna be quite low. So that's here. That's our eye level. And we've talked about how this is going to be a three point perspective. So, three points, you have a point on either side. There's, a, there's, two, there's two perspectives. So, I'm going to throw one all the way over here and another one all the way on this side. Now, the third point is going to be the vertical one, which is all the way at the top of our page. Sometimes it'll be even like past our page. But we're gonna put it up here, here in the middle. have your whole perspective lines down so it's, it's pretty easy at this point um, it's all just your approach now portion, sorry, the sidewalk, it's the, the door is about three quarters of a pencil tall, so we find that proportion 
bring it there. There you go. Or you can find a point of reference and say the top of the door lines up with about a midway of this building here. All right, we did it. There you go. That's it. That's all you need to do. So that's the first phase. Then we'll do it in, in ink next. Okay. Second phase. Look, our sketch is pretty much done. All we have to do is get in the ink and then have fun with it. So you ready to get down on some ink? Have fun with it? Let's do this. So later, if we want, we can get down and, you know, do the whole fence and stuff like that. But let's move along and now start inking this. So I have a food in it and I'm going to go in and, and bring in the profile first. That's it. Next, I'm going to now erase all of our pencil lines. And I think I'm going to come in and, 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 and draw in this fence here. So I'm going to pause it, erase, and then when we come to the next video, we'll have a clean page and a prepared setting to do our fence. All right. back we're back for more I wanted to get down this fenced area here and we can do so by and that'll give us a nice um, perspective view like it'll emphasize uh, the context so let's uh, Start with this edge. And it's it's kind of nice because we've set up the building in such a way that now we can locate where each one of these verticals is. So where each one of the loops is. So I'm going to come in and find a loop here. Right? Find the next one is roughly. here and the next one person is on our horizon line, you know, around here, standing here, and I'm just going to 
drum in there. He's got a backpack on. So now what we could do is to bring in some detail. Water brush here with um, some gray ink, diluted gray ink. I'll start by adding contrast values to our sketch. We first erase some line work. Okay, in our last phase here. Add some detail, add some contrast and values. We're gonna take our ink brush and start to have some fun with it. So, I'm coming into this whole left side. And dark, darkening this whole left side. And then the ground floor. I'm gonna push on my brush here and give it a little bit of dry brush action. Very old building, built in the late 1500s, rebuilt in the 1700s. So it's not going to be perfect. That's why I love sketching these buildings because they're imperfect. So your sketches will have to be imperfect as well. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I like sketching these buildings so much because they're fun. They're quirky. They have a lot of character. Thank you for joining me today in Cedar Lines, Mexico, here in Valladolid. Of course, as you know, there is a real-time course, step-by-step -step process. It's on CedarLines.com. It's through an interactive world map. You just click on Valladolid, and a video course will appear. So, when you do this sketch, be sure to tag me at Cedar Lines and hashtag Cedar Lines Valladolid, so we can all continue to travel together, explore, and sketch. And that's it for this session. Until then, happy sketching, and I'll see you next time somewhere in Mexico. Bye.